Hello, Mia speaking. Can I ask who's calling, please? Good morning. I'm Lisa. Could I speak to Sarah, please? Oh, Sarah. She's not in at the moment. Um, can I... Could you... I think she'll be back in about an hour at the latest. Can I take a message? Alright, could you ask her to call back Lisa at triple eight double two double four? Sorry, would you mind repeating that? The line's quite bad. Alright, um, could you ask her to call back Lisa at triple eight double two double four? Alright, I'll ask her to call Lisa at triple eight double two four four, right? Okay, thanks for calling. Oh, um, hang on. There's someone at the door. I think that may be her. Hi Lisa, Sarah here. How are you? I'm fine. Well, the reason I called today is to ask if you'd like to go to the cinema this weekend. I'd love to. Will this Saturday at night, at 9, will be okay? That's alright. So, let me confirm with you. You said this Saturday night at 9, right? Yes. See you then. You too. Take care. Bye. Hello. For today's lesson, we are going to introduce you to the basic skills needed when using the telephone. Many people find it difficult to make phone calls in English, and that's completely understandable, seeing that English is not our native language. In a phone call, you can't see the person you are talking to and read their body language, which makes it really hard to understand at times. Their voice may be unclear, and you might even find it difficult to find the right words to say. Another thing to think about when talking on the phone is formality. It is necessary to use the right level of formality. People might find it difficult to feel comfortable when they talk to you if the way you talk is too formal. On the other hand, if you are too informal, people might think you are rude. It is polite to use could, can, may, or would when you make a request. Hi, um, could I speak to Sarah, please? Yeah, okay. Then can I leave a message then? Oh, would this study be fine? Okay, thanks, bye. You should also use please and thank you or thanks whenever you ask for or receive assistance. Please keep in mind, these forms of request and appreciation are generally applicable to other daily interactions too, not just for telephone calls. It's important to show politeness at all times. But it's also fine to use some informal words, such as OK and bye, as long as the overall manner of the speech is courteous. It's not just what you say that matters, but how you say it. Pretending to understand when you don't may lead to many problems. It's perfectly acceptable to use phrases like, would you mind repeating that, please? Could you speak a little more slowly, please? You could always say that, I'm sorry, the line's quite bad, if you can't hear them clearly. Phrases such as that will help make sure that you have a problem-free phone call. There are other expressions that may be useful during a telephone call. Introducing yourself. Hi, this is Kimmy. Hello, Kimmy speaking. Asking who is on the telephone. Excuse me, who is this please? Can I ask who's calling please? Asking for someone. Can I talk to Siti, please? May I speak to Siti, please? Is Joe in? Connecting someone. I'll put you through. Can you hold on a moment, please? Can you hold a line, please? How to reply when someone is not available. I'm afraid Ali is not in at the moment. Mr. Dave isn't in currently. Mr. Dave isn't in at the moment. Mr. Dave is out at the moment. Taking a message. Could I take a message? Could I tell him who is calling? 
Would you like to leave a message? So, now you know the kind of language you may use in a phone call, let's look at the stages in a telephone call. There are four stages in making a good telephone call. A, before the call. B, beginning the call. C, during the call. And D, ending the call. Before the call. Prepare well before you call. Plan what you want to say. Have all information on hand or ready. Next we go to beginning the call. Start with a greeting and clearly identify yourself. Good morning, I'm Lisa. Give a reason for the call. May I speak to Anita, please? During the call. Create an encouraging and friendly mood. Hi, how are you? Communicate what needs to be said clearly. Listen attentively to what is being communicated. Make sure you understood what was said. Finally, ending the call. Clarify by repeating and confirming what was said. For example, so, let me confirm that. You said Saturday night at 9, right? Create a positive atmosphere before you end the call. You can use compliments, for example, You've been a great help. End the call politely, for example, Thank you very much. These are some common words used for a telephone call. Hold on means wait. Hang on means wait too. Hang up, ring off means finish the call by breaking the connection or put the phone down. Ring up means to make a phone call. Pick up means to answer a call when the phone rings. Put through is to connect your call to another telephone. Call back is to return a phone call. An exercise for practicing speaking on the telephone. The most important thing about practicing telephone conversations is that you shouldn't be able to see the person you're talking to on the phone. Here is a suggestion for practicing phone calls. Put your chairs back to back with a partner and practice speaking on the phone. You will only hear the other person's voice, which will be similar to a telephone situation. That's all for today, kids. But remember, practice makes perfect, so practice, practice, practice what you have learnt. Till we meet again, goodbye. <laughs>